welcome to a third tutorial on open foam we have been looking at um, the cavity example and in the previous example we looked at the block mesh dictionary and uh, today we are going to look at the contents of the system folder and also the zero folder now let's start with the control dictionary in the control dictionary we specify the name of the solver and the start and end time of a simulation so how it is done you give a you have this thing called the option called start from and you specify a parameter named start time and in the start time we specify here as zero this zero has to correspond with the zero folder that is the start time and uh, the end time we have specified here as 0.5 and the delta t we have specified as 0.005 uh, these are not the just the options we have we have other options too and uh, if you go to page number yeah in page number 108 uh, we have this mm, a full description of the control dictionary and here we have uh, this time control um, the start uh, start from we can have different options for the start from uh, it can be the first time it can be the start time or it can be the latest time and you can see the descriptions here what what they mean by the way we are looking at the user guide of open foam which is available in the website and it's also available in with your installation already so the f um, so now we generally we use the start time and if you want to look at the other things you can look it at uh, look at look it up and um, then we go to the stop at we can also we have other ways of doing it and we usually use the end time which is usually which is just the end time of your simulation and uh, now we will look at the other things like um, the data writing parameters how wha what is this part so we have the write control we use the time step and we specify we ask the um, simulation to write the write our results after each 20 time step that means 20 times the 0 0.005 that is 0 0.1 so after every each 0 0.1 time our results would be written out so we will have 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 and so on at the end of a simulation and here we have the other options purge write is to control the number of times your um, if your simulation is written you can read the description here and we have other things like uh, the write format which could be ASCII or binary and if you are using ASCII you have to specify you can specify the write precision and uh, you can choose between the compressed and uncompressed formats and um, we can move on to what is the next thing should I uh, could be a fee solution could be or should be FP schemes I guess uh, <laughs> yeah we go on to the FP schemes next and uh, in the FP schemes we look at the discretization schemes for both time and space and uh, first we look at the time derivative scheme here we use the uh, we here you we use the Euler scream and <laughs> <laughs> I make it sound like ice cream uh, yeah it's Euler <laughs> scheme and uh, then we use the gradient and for the divergent scheme Laplacian and so on we specify it here well, uh, I would say that these are uh, not open form specific if you want to know about the theory background of these schemes like o Euler or uh, Gauss linear or and in schemes you you can search it on internet yeah I mean they are, they are general you can find it in general literature yeah i think at this stage we should just keep it simple and you should we just want you to want to show you where you can find information on these things i mean where exactly they are specified in the in the case directory so yeah here this is where you specify your uh, your schemes and once the schemes are done we can move on to the solution methods and uh, okay now i switch to the fp solutions file and here we have uh, first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Today we are laughing a little too much. Uh, okay, in the solver we go to the uh, in the pressure, and for the pressure uh, we have a symmetric system of equation, and so we use this solver uh, PCG, which is used for uh, symmetric matrices. And the description of it is given in page 189 of your manual. And 118, if we go there, and here we're going to see uh, these are the. Let me put this. Here. 
Yeah, th these are the three ty three solvers, uh, three types of solvers available. And for the first time, you can see here PCG and this PBICG. And PCG is for the symmetric uh, matrices, and this is for the asymmetric case. And uh, so once you you have chosen the solver, uh, then we go to the uh, preconditioner which here we use DIC which uh, yet again is a symmetric case and uh, we use this and um, yeah then we can specify the tolerance uh, for this uh, solution of the equations and similarly we for the U we have an asymmetric equations and we use this solver and we use a asymmetric preconditioner as well and finally we have PSO PSO is an algorithm for solving Navier-Stokes equation and uh, yeah, more on that later and yeah, we, we just specify it here. Now Shweb is going to tell us about the zero folder. Yeah, so as my friend has explained that uh, f in the system folder you need to define the time related stuff and uh, all the mathematical definitions of uh, the uh, differential operators and uh, how to solve the uh, system of equations that is done in this uh, system folder. Uh, and now we come to the physics of, of your problem. Uh, for example, actually I've already explained it in, f in my first tutorial in transport properties. Uh, you can define the, uh, the parameters used in your, the physical parameters used in your solver. Uh, for example, icoform only needs this nu, uh, which is uh, kinematic, uh, kinematic viscosity. Um, and this, here you define the, actually the dimensions of this kinematic viscosity. Uh, so first, uh, first uh, in index corresponds to uh, mass, then ma uh, this length, time, and that's actually it is uh, given here. Oh yeah, here you can find the different uh, dimensional units. So mass, length, time, temperature, quantity, <laughs> 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 yeah, Generally, mass, length, time are, are used. Mm. So yeah, I would also like to comment here that um, OpenFORM uh, doesn't use any particular system of units. So whatever dimension you choose here or whatever uh, unit you choose for any particular quantity it should be consistent throughout your uh, th throughout your uh, uh, simulation. simulation or means all in all in all of your for all of your uh, physical quantities for example if you have selected meter then all of your uh, physical parameters should be defined in meters <coughs> so here this new is defined uh, to be 0 0.001 okay so for example, this new, um, if you want to change your uh, Reynolds number, then Reno Reynolds number is changed with this, uh, is it related to this uh, this kinematic viscosity, and by changing this kinematic viscosity, you can increase or decrease your Reynolds number. So, okay. Next, we go to, okay, polymesh, yeah, it's, it's I've already explained. Okay. Next is the zero folder which contains the the <coughs> initial conditions for the parameters required in your solver. Icoform only needs uh, velocity and pressure, therefore there are only t these two files, pressure uh, and velocity. Okay, if you remember the, uh, the example of um, cavity flow, uh, we have defined the top wall as a Top, we have defined the top wall as a moving wall, and uh, uh, if you remember, in the file block mesh dict, we defined the top wall as a uh, as a user defined name of moving wall. So we use that same name which we defined in the block mesh dict, and we yeah, type this name moving wall, and then we specify the type and then value for that particular type. Type mm, type means that what boundary conditions you have to use. Um, and there is a keyword for that. Okay, here we are using uh, fixed value. Fixed value means that initially um, your your wall is moving with a uh, with a fixed value, uh, and is uniform one zero zero. It means that it is moving in the x direction uh, with the one meter per second could be, <coughs> uh, and then so only in x direction and not in y and z direction. And similarly for the for the other patch which was defined in the block mesh text dict, it was fixed wall 
and uh, we have uh, no slip condition for velocity on all of the other other walls and no slip means that you just use the same fixed value here but this time you give ux uy and uz three components to be zero the third patch was uh, front and back and uh, we said that our problem was in two dimensions therefore we use the em empty uh, empty patch option there in block mesh dict and therefore we are also using empty option here in order to force solver not to do any calculations in the z direction uh, okay the dimensions i have already i have explained it so this dimension they corresponds to uh, meter per second uh, and this internal field uh, uniform internal field means that okay here here you have defined the uh, the, the 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 values for the boundary patches and here internal field we have defined that uh, <coughs> in the beginning the velocity all over inside the cavity is to be zero and it is uh, uniformly uh, distributed to be zero the other option is uh, non uniform so instead of uniform you can use the keyword non uniform but then you have to define a list for uh, each of the cell uh, the easy option for that could be uh, an option of using uh, funky set fields could be but that is a little bit uh, modified and advanced form we'll uh, we'll discuss these things subsequent later on yeah, in subsequent tutorials uh, okay so yeah this file is more or less done the other file is uh, pressure so again it starts with this uh, dimensions okay but here uh, one thing is to be kept in mind that uh, this for incompressible solver because this is icoform and icoform deals with the incompressible solver and the pressure is actually not uh, pascals so if you remember the Navier-Stokes equation um, the pressure in if 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 density is is constant for incompressible solver definitely it is constant therefore it can be um, the the right hand side could be divided with the density for navier stokes equation if you remember it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then <coughs> he, the solver is taking pressure divided by rho as a as, as a, a single quantity and that single quantity is defined as uh, in in literature it is known as uh, kinematic pressure so these units they are they are not for pascal they are they are for the pascal divided, divided by r density and which corresponds to uh, meter square per second square yeah which is here okay so again the same three patches moving wall fixed wall and front and back these three patches were defined in block mesh dict and now you have to define the boundary conditions for for these three patches uh, here we have used the zero gradient for the moving wall uh, definitely when you define a fixed value for velocity then you cannot specify a fixed value for pressure therefore it has to be uh, a zero gradient here uh, zero gradient means that uh, your derivative of pressure is uh, uh, is uh, zero in the beginning <coughs> and also here it's zero and again in this uh, empty for the third direction okay so there are different boundary conditions available uh, that can be looked uh, either in the user user guide or So in this path, opt uh, open form SRC finite volume field. There comes this boundary con in boundary conditions. Uh, the the two important ones. Yeah, sure. I was put in a lot of efforts in finding the location of this. Uh, definitely, dear. This is this is uh, not so easy to find this <laughs> yeah, this path. Yeah, I, I know how much time you spent on it. Okay, two important folders are basic and derived. Uh, in the basic. Yeah, for example, yeah, this zero zero gradient we have already used fixed gradient uh, or fixed value. <coughs> so you can uh, go through these um, boundary conditions and you can use the appropriate one, or could be derived also. Yeah. So here you have number of boundary conditions. <coughs> we'll be using yeah some of these in uh, subsequent tutorials. Mm, yeah, you can also find <laughs> <laughs> if you are so keen on it. Open yeah, any. Good luck to you. <laughs> op open any any folder and go through all of these files. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So with this, I guess completely uh, taken a look of all of the necessary files required to run any particular uh, solver. 
and uh, that completes actually our first case of uh, cavity flow and yep. the icofoam. So that's all.